Hello there! My name is Kamikaze and if you don't know who I am, I've been playing this game for around 7 years. I've been playing various uh, rhythm games uh, in the similar vein as Osmania. As you can see I am decently, uh, decently ranked so my skill level is not that low and I have expertise in charting, uh, in charting and playing uh, 7 plus 1 key or 8 key so this uh, the special key setup that is used in 2DX and BMS and that's uh, transported over to Osumania and today I want to talk about the issues about the issues with this uh, with the setting there are three main even game breaking bugs that I want to discuss but first let's look into what uh, 7 plus 1 key is because the 7 plus 1 key stems from uh, 2DX Beatmania 2DX, the uh, Japanese arcade game and here's an example of how it is played you can see it, this is a top ranker uh, Dolce who's playing uh, 7 plus 1 key and it's, uh, it's using the turntable so it's uh, moving the turntable back and forth to hit the notes on uh, on the eighth column, the special column, which uh, also Mania is trying to emulate with uh, the special style, and you can see that he just uh, moves the scratch scratch plate back and forth to hit the notes. You can also see this in uh, BMS. This is someone playing. Um, this is 2DX uh, KKM playing Espresso Shots a uh, chart from the insane table which also features the scratches on the furnace column and he's also playing them on a the controller using, uh, using the turntable to move back and forth this is going to be important later this is moving back and forth it's not just uh, it's not just one press as you can see here this chart has pretty uh, tricky scratches to time but yeah and this also played on uh, keyboard, as you can see here by the play uh, made by Blurtic. He's using two fingers on shift and control to alternate uh, scratches to uh, hit all of those uh, scratch jacks. Because this is basically emulating uh, emulating the controller experience on keyboard. And this is basically what uh, Osumania uh, tries to do. As you can see, when we go to options to Osumania layout on uh, 8 key, we have the special style. The normal style is based on games like uh, DJ Max or uh, DDR doubles, which do not feature this uh, scratch lane, but they are just straight 8 keys. And we have special styles uh, left and special style right for when this uh, special column is either on the first column or on the eighth column. You, while using the special style, uh, you can also bind alternate special keys. As you can see, we have the the colon here, and uh, left shift for uh, for special style. Because that's uh, that's basically what um, awesome. That was one of the features that got introduced. I don't remember exactly when, but I think around 2015. That uh, lets you alternate keys for this. Uh, for this lane to make scratch decks uh, possible and we have examples of uh, charts like that uh, rank for example my guess difficulty of reanimate if we just look at it in uh, in the editor we have parts like this we have parts like this um, where you have five consecutive scratches and you kind of have to, you kind of have to trill them, or like uh, dual scratch them, to to get the best out of them. And this is very hard to do on Otsu, which is shown by not too many FCs. I think there are uh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that is nine FCs on this chart. And the chart was ranked around 2015, so uh, 2016, if I remember correctly. Uh, let me actually check. 
Yeah, so this child was ranked uh, in 2015. So it was ranked five years ago. And for... Uh, in five years, we've only gotten seven FCs on it. Granted, it's not a very... Uh, very heavily played chart. But the issue stems from something else. And... Uh, this also brings me to a chart of uh, BBKK BKK Extended Mix, which was going for rank. It's a chart by Amiria, also known as uh, Victorica DB, which was going for rank but got stopped for uh, for a couple of reasons. Because as we can see in here, it's pretty standard, uh, pretty standard chart, pretty well made in my opinion. You have the scratch tracks for the kick. For the kick uh, sound uh, sample, vocal sample, and this is one of the uses of uh, of the scratch uh, the scratch lane. Let the bass kick. You can use that for, for example, crashes. You can use that for cymbals. You can use that for vocal samples, finishers. That's a very useful uh, tool in mapping. Let the bass kick. As we skip forward, uh, we have here a section. Which features the bass, bass, kick, kick, bass, bass, kick, kick uh, samples. I hear more. And this was not that controversial because it's not that hard to play on single scratch. But the part coming up is the part that uh, was very controversial. Like, as you can see here. Now, People have agreed or disagreed with this a lot of times, but essentially this is for this one sample that uh, starts here, here, and it speeds up. Now in my opinion this is uh, perfectly fine as a chart, I understand if someone disagrees with it though, but the problem is different. As we take a look on the, on the thread, and uh, yeah, the response is uh, it was posed by Blocko, who was uh, monitoring the um, monitoring the discussion. And here, this part, I'd like to point out that the dual scratch mechanic does work in Mania, but not very well. Depending on your key bindings, you'd have to let go of the first scratch key before pressing the second one. This doesn't allow presses to overlap when it should, similar to how standard mode allows key mouse presses to overlap. Because of this mechanic not working well, it sparked some controversy as to how the scratch line should be used in a song. Also, a bug in the game uh, should not deter a map's rankability, but a push for fix on that bug is uh, definitely more appropriate. And uh, this is the thing. You cannot press the second key when you're... Pr so for example, you cannot press your alternate special key uh, binding unless the uh, primary uh, the primary banding is fully off now what that means is uh, oftentimes when you have uh, when you have a scratch jack so basically one four notes on uh, on the con one four consecutive notes on the scratch lane when you're just trilling normally naturally there is some overlap usually especially if you have other patterns uh, surrounding uh, if you have other partners surrounding those scratches, it's very hard to get lost in it and uh, start... and you just basically have a column lock. You have a note lock on uh, on one lane, even if it's just that one lane. And this, uh, this really sparked a pretty heated discussion and in turn, in turn it was disqualified. It was disqualified for this specific issue. For the specific issue of of uh, scratch jacks, and uh, there hasn't been a response uh, to this bug since the thread was created five months ago. However, there was this one thread, uh, which was um, you know special key usability, and uh, while Blazer said that uh, they're working on Meta Joystick support and this issue is part of that, um, there was also a post. It wasn't here, uh, even if it uh, if it has replies from three years ago, eighteen months ago, eleven months ago, ten months ago. But apparently, this was a uh, design. This was a design choice, and it wasn't going to be fixed, which I think is a problem for a couple of reasons.
For example, we have this chart that I showed you at Pressure Shots. We have this uh, in Ultimania converted by Underjoy. I've made the difficulty with uh, Scratch only. So if we skip on ahead to about here, I'm going to attempt to play this with uh, alternate bindings. And to show you what I mean. Just the alternate bindings. So as you can see, I've gotten 20 misses on this. Now I admit, my play isn't exactly perfect. It won't be because I'm not uh, I'm not that high of a, I'm not a high level of a player. But I still I was uh, trilling with uh, with two fingers with my two primary fingers, and usually you're using pinkies, you're using pinkies, or there is a technique that uses uh, the second thumb to hit um, to hit the scratch. Like for example on ALT, even though ALT isn't really mappable on uh, on OSU from what I know, right ALT. And this causes uh, a lot of problems because the charts like that, there, were there was discussion on another chart that I don't remember the name of, that also was suggesting that the scratch tracks in that chart should be, uh, should be removed. But is that really what we're supposed to do in this, uh, in this game? Because, as far as I know, the last three ranked charts for 8 key were ranked in those Tatatat E, which is really just uh, one difficulty beginner chart, in uh, 9th de December of 2018. My chart of Ice Film of Miki Sayaka ranked on 7th uh, September 2018, and Life Garden by Pocket Gao ranked on. Uh, 31st August of 2018. This was nearly two years ago, so we haven't seen a single 8 key ranked chart for nearly two years, and this is one of the reasons for it. People are, I mean, apart from the fact that there isn't a lot of uh, a lot of 8 key charts to train on on uh, on Osu, this is also the issue, because with with the scratch jacks being uh, basically bugged. I would say that is a bug, that you cannot overlap uh, the key bindings, and on keyboard, I've heard that uh, the controller doesn't actually work on OSU as well, at least not this, uh, not the scratch disk. Although I would need some citation on that, but uh, if the issue with the keyboard, like there is times when you just uh, don't release the key fully. But you, you're releasing the key, all right, and uh, you're you don't release the the key fully, and you start pressing the second key. When the actuation points meet, you just get node locked. You just get column locked, and uh, you lose a lot of HP. You lose, lose a lot of accuracy, and so on. This has been an ongoing issue for years, and I I have no idea why this hasn't been properly addressed still. And there wasn't really. Like th there was this one thread that covered it, but there w there was no like real sources or no real explanations or whatever. And I don't know. This is just um, one of the things. Uh, so hold on, because this really like kills creativity in uh, in seven plus one key. And if if you put um, a couple of consecutive one four notes on the scratch lane. Your chart can be deemed unrankable just because of that one precedent that BBKK uh, said. That it can be, it can be disqualified for something like this, and this is really limiting, and this is why nobody really maps 8 key anymore. 
I've also made a, um, a test chart of... Uh, where is it? Yeah, I... Uh, like, I'm going to attempt to play it with my pinkies. It's just a scratch lane. As you can see, I am scratch... I am alternating. I am alternating, but I just get column locked and I cannot even pass this. And this is just what? A 7 second snippet of 180 BPM, 1 force. 81 nodes. I could probably... Oh, yeah, yeah, and also this is a funny thing. I can do this while using just one key. I can just use both of my hands to press on one key, here shift, or I can just do this uh, on the other key, on the smaller key, just so it's uh, more visible on the cam. Now, admittedly, my approach wasn't... Uh, yeah, I can just do it with a single finger, really. And I can do it better with a single finger than with two fingers. And this is supposed to be emulating... Uh, emulating 2DX and emulating BMS. In this vein. So this really... The note lock on the scratch lane is the common, is the, well, wide known issue that hasn't been addressed for five years and this is really, really something that should be looked at. However, the next things that I'm going to mention are things that apparently almost nobody knows, but they have existed ever since, uh, well, one of the issues exists uh, for like two years or something and the other issue Oh, probably a year. But the other issue exists uh, since the game was created and nobody really picked up on it, thankfully. So, this is the end of part one and part two is mirror mod. Because mirror mod in uh, into DX, for example, as we can see, or in BMS, as we can see, for example, um, let's pick a pattern with or here, it's just a pattern with scratches. Um, hold on. I was going to make this uh, stop for a minute. So, for example, when you have this pattern, when you have the scratches on one lane and the stream that goes uh, two, four, I uh, know the 4, 2, uh, 5, 3, 6, 2. Then on Mirror, on other games, which is uh, BMS and 2DX, that would not change the position of the scratch, because the scratch always stays the same. It's a special style. You choose where that special style, well, special style uh, lane is. And uh, the notes would just be reversed. So the notes would be swapped. So it would be uh, 4. It will be 6, um, 3, 5, uh, 2, 4. Well, not exactly. Um, yeah, in this, in this order, basically. But it would be reversed. Also, I'm, I've just used this um, column laning uh, with scratch lane excluded because that's basically 7 plus 1 key. So this creates problems in Osumania because, for example, Let's pick a chart. Uh, I have this chart. Uh, this is Kuroneko Dungeon Dragon Guild and the Coherence. That is a love chart by Lane. And let's just see how it looks in the first couple of notes uh, using special style left. So I have the stair that's going in the right direction, then going left direction. And you can see the scratch lane there. It's pretty sparse, at least in this point, but you know. And do remember that we are using the um, pinkies, basically, to hit this uh, the scratch column. Because that's how you usually play uh, 7 plus 1 key, on keyboard. So now let's see what mirror does. Because mirror 
If you put mirror and auto, mirror should theoretically leave this first column as it was and then reverse all the patterns. But what we can see, the special style left. You can see by the yellow column. I have yellow column on the middle as well, but that's just my preference. But you can see that uh, here there should be scratch, but there are regular notes here. And you can basically hit those notes with two fingers. Even though they're part of the normal pattern, you can alternate uh, keys to hit those notes if you really wanted to. And the scratch lane is here where it cannot be alternated because you are using only one key here. That already breaks the setup complet completely. It doesn't work. What you need to do in order to get the... Um, because on keyboard it's not terribly game-breaking to play, but on controller it would be absolutely game-breaking even if the controller would work. But what you need to do in order to get the, the actual random, I mean the actual mirror how it works, you need to go to 8 key and use special star right because that shifts first column into the eighth column. So when you do that, and then you mirror. When you do that and then you mirror, you end up with, uh, with the mirror patterns how they should be looking. So you can get an actual mirror how it should be in the game, but it takes it just takes switching the special styles and that's just kind of pointless because why would you do that? Why would you have to switch your style just so uh, just ch change the setting in the options in the bindings options just to get a mirror that suits you that should be there still that doesn't uh, doesn't compromise the scratch lane and that's also something that is um, prevalent because for example this is no halation this is a chart by DJ Bob who charted this in uh, in a DJ Max style so this is um, as we change to normal style and then mirror this is going to look exactly like it should look although it does take a little bit um, to load because of the key sounds but yeah we have those patterns the columns are just colored by me but you can see those lanes those lanes are the most important the middle lanes uh, and now, without random, with just auto. So those are the original patterns. Yeah, you can see that this is basically the same. There are just uh, those two uh, columns, one and uh, one and six are reversed in that one pattern, but that's just uh, how it should be. On symmetrical 8 key, it works fine. As we change to our default setting. But this also, in the chart that I showed, in uh, this chart, it doesn't make too much of a difference. However, this is the chart Don't Think Feel, that I converted from, uh, from BMS. And I'll just show you how it looks like um, how it looks like normally on two times speed because we need to get to the to the actual part that I'm talking about because this is pretty standard so far. So it should be any moment. There's basically nothing special uh, so far. There's pretty sparse patterning and some streams here and there. However, here. Here is where things get interesting. Because you have those scratch tracks, those insanely fast scratch tracks. 
in this one part, and they obviously make sense uh, charting-wise, because they are mapped to this actual scratch disc in the song. And they are easily... Uh, they're easily double scratchable on uh, BMS and on 2DX. But, when we put on Mirror and uh, an Auto, things get very different and very insane. Because we're, we're just going to be skipping to this part again. So remember that the first column you can still alternate. Kissin used the alternate binding to uh, hit the notes on the first column, even if you don't really need to. But this could be already game breaking when there would be uh, long jacks on that first column. Okay, and now look. What happens when you put mirror on uh, regularly? You get all those scratch tracks which are made to be uh, trillable, you get them on 7th column. You get them on the outermost column where you have to press it with your uh, with your ring finger. You basically have to vibro them. And it's pretty much, well nearly, it's nearly impossible to do that. That's where things get very out of control. But this is just how the mirror works. What we have... Uh, what we have next is that uh, I'm going show to show you something that I don't think anyone actually noticed. When we go to the editor and it's song setup, we have this uh, we have this most specific option of using the special style N plus one style uh, for Mania. Notice the leftmost column is used as special column. That's for the editor. That setting is supposed to be telling the game that the first column on the playfield is the scratch column, is the special style column and therefore when uh, you change the special style it uh, moves those notes to the first, uh, moves those notes from first to the last column when you use special style right because when you use special style left it just means that you can alternate uh, those uh, you can alternate this lane you can alternate those notes because this also enables the the alternate bind for those and yeah, this doesn't actually work at all. This doesn't work because while well, it's all fine and dandy in charts that I actually mapped for seven plus one key, when we go to Snow Halation, I have special style left selected, and we saw the patterns. Uh, I'll just put it in editor, and I sh I'll show you this one pattern that uh, really shows it uh, very nicely. Basically, you have this pattern, right? You have the four notes, uh, four long notes on columns one, three, uh, one, three, six, and eight, and then the two uh, grace elements on columns two and column seven. But uh, also, this chart is also ranked, so this ap this applies to ranked charts as well. But if you look in song setup. This obviously doesn't have the special style and plus one style for Mania. And that's sensible because, you know, this is a chart mapped for symmetrical 8 key. However, if we go to the options setting, also Mania layout, 8 key, then select special style left is default uh, when charting, so that's okay, but using special style right, and now let's see what happens. Remember, this on on the actual uh, 7 plus 1 key charts, this moves the first column to the, uh, to the 8th lane. However, there is something different here. And you're going to notice it. You're not going to notice it now. This. This is not how it's supposed to be. The entire first column, despite the fact that the setting is not enabled, and this chart is ranked, the entire first column was moved to 8th column. So basically, the entire first column was moved to the 8th column. This is also highlighted here by the yellow lane, which is interesting because I didn't actually know that this happened when you switched playstyles. 
but this setting the mode specific setting of uh, use special style for mania doesn't do anything the game actually the setting in the bindings dictates what special style uh, is being used so in this case it doesn't look like this the pattern doesn't look like this more so uh, we can do this the pattern looks like this this is what it looks like when you use uh, special star right on symmetrical 8 key uh, on symmetrical 8 key, eight key uh, beatmaps and this also applies uh, to mirror because then that can also alternate patterns so you can already get sort of a broken uh, broken iteration of random ranked in the game even though random mod specifically is unranked and for a very good reason and again when you play uh, when you use this for for a normal 7 plus 1 key chart like my dysnomia chart and that's fine because you can see here uh, these are normal notes and this was a scratch I mean, though my columns don't match up but uh, this was the scratch and we can see that in the editor you just use the special style left these were the notes so these are the scratch notes and they move to the 8th column when the special star right is enabled which is sensible but when it comes to uh, symmetrical charts like snow halation that is just broken however that's not all because Another key mode, because seven plus one key is not the only uh, is not the only key mode that uses alternate uh, bindings and special style. The other key mode is six K, and six K can also uh, use normal style, special style le left or special style right. However, due to the fact that the setting that you have in uh, in editor to enable that doesn't actually do anything and because of the fact that there isn't a single 5 plus 1 key chart ranked or loved in Osumania this makes things very broken because let's just see 6, uh, six key using normal style you can see on Gekito's Kiafa this is a lot chart and you can see this pattern right three notes on the right column three long notes specifically which are like I guess the most recognizable we can just see the intro to, to see the point really and the special style is not enabled however if you enable a special style in here and you special star right remember those uh, 465 uh, LNs? well let's see them again you can already tell that the patterns are different and those are the LNs the LNs move to 456 and because of the fact that pretty much all of uh, Osumania's 6 key 6 key charts ranked or loved are symmetrical this means that you can manipulate patterns in those uh, charts somewhat to your liking using mirror as well using mirror and special style and also if there would be a very hard jack for example like long jack on column 1, 2 or 6 I'm not sure if that works on 5 as well you can alternate keys you can alternate keys on special style so you can basically cheat them you can cheat them by using two fingers on one column now I know that this doesn't work currently but this should be addressed this really has to be addressed because this is game breaking you can exploit that very hard 
to get more uh, more comfortable patterns when you otherwise shouldn't be able to. You should be playing what the charter has intended. But because the the set the setting in uh, the setting in editor doesn't actually do anything, and it's overwritten by by the setting in Ottomania layout, does that completely overrides it? And it doesn't matter actually what you select in in the editor. It doesn't matter because you can just basically move the columns anyway using the special style, as he uh, as shown here. And I really hope this gets looked at and addressed. So. Please, if you see this video, please share it around, please retweet the original tweet, post on the on the thread that I'm going to make uh, just after I finish recording this video. Because this has to be known, and there has to be something that... Uh, there has to be something done about this. Because this can potentially lead to very game-breaking uh, scenarios. Thanks for watching, and... I hope this uh, I hope this was an informative video. This is my first time doing a video like that, so I hope I conveyed the point uh, well enough. And yeah, see you next time.